Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to check out the Dogfish Technology 120 gigabyte SSD. This is the SATA 3 version, not to be confused with the M.2 PCIe or NVMe SSDs. This one is hooked up through the SATA cable. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and check it out. Okay, so here we have the package. Haven't opened it yet. This is the Dogfish Technology 120 gigabyte. It's the SATA 3. Go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, pretty simple packaging. It's so light. Probably only, you know, just a couple grams in weight. It honestly feels like it's empty. And there it is. light that's where you plug in your connections my main use for this is just um, with my video editing and my video games I will keep my files on this that's the reason I didn't get a larger one but it will drastically improve my load and read speeds compared to a mechanical hard drive so let's go ahead and get this thing put in and we'll see we'll do a little test and see just how fast it is so we'll just make sure to turn off power I like to even unplug the cable just in case. So we'll need to take this off. Pretty simple. And just set it aside. Nice little glass. Okay. And then we'll want to grab the mounting plate for the SSD. I'll just set that over here. And we also need to take this panel off over here. Set that panel aside. And here we have the SATA 3 SSD mounting hardware. As you can see, we have the same four holes. We'll go ahead and mount that to this guy and we'll be set to put this stuff in the case. It really doesn't take too much time. Let's flip that over. Let's see, it faces this way and we want it to face like that. So just flip it like so. You'll just need a small screwdriver for this one. I guess it's easier to start it with your finger. Definitely want to leave it loose. You don't want to fully tighten it down just yet. Once 
you have two in the probably get them a little tighter okay. this mount doesn't move around on you SSD and then it just pops into place like so pretty simple and straightforward it's got a little screw you just tighten with your fingers and then we'll take a Another SATA cable. Plug it in on the motherboard here. Just looking for the second slot. Pop it in. I'm gonna run this one through the same area as the other one. Just to keep my bay nice and open. And then we'll take the power right there. I'll take the save key. And that's all it takes to install it. Now we'll just throw the panels back on. It only takes a moment. Go ahead and throw the power cord back in. And we'll take the glass side panel. Throw it back on. And that's all there is to putting those in. So now we'll turn everything on and make sure everything's set up properly and then we'll do a speed test. Alright, so here we are in the BIOS and just showing that the computer has recognized the SSD. Alright, so now that we're in Windows, what you'll do is you'll come down, right click the Start menu, go to Computer Management, this window will pop up, and then you'll click on Disk Management, and a window should pop up asking you if you would like to initialize the new drive. You'll choose which one you want to either make it an MBR or a DPT, that's totally up to you which one you pick then you just hit OK then you'll come to this screen and you'll have your hard drive in this zone down here at the bottom I'll make the screen a little bigger uh, then what you'll do is this should say unallocated partition and you'll right click it and you will choose the option for new volumes and then you'll have the option to name the volume. Just go ahead and click on OK for most things on that on those menus, and uh, then you'll be asked if you want to give the drive a drive letter. I chose S, and you'll just click that, and it'll format your hard drive for you, and you'll be good to go. So once you've done that, everything should work perfectly. We are going to go ahead and run this speed test to see what kind of speeds this new hard drive gets. You'll just want to select your hard drive from the menu, your file size, let's go with one gigabyte, we'll run five tests. I'm just going to run the sequential 32 queues with one thread. I'll go ahead and start this. 
put a time lapse on and we'll see what kind of results we get. Okay, so the test shows that we resulted in a 526.6 megabytes per second read speed and 437.5 megabytes per second write speed, which is actually really good for the price of this SSD because it's definitely on the cheaper scale. It was $28.99. And if you compare that to something like the Samsung 850 Evo of the same size, the 120 gigabyte SATA 3 SSD, it's I believe runs for about a hundred dollars and they claim this, almost the same speeds of 540 megabytes per second read speed and 520 megabytes of write speed. Now granted that probably is a little high to what you'll actually see so if you're looking for an SSD you know this one's actually not too bad with the uh, speeds that you end up seeing out of this thing. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below what you think about the speeds out of this. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I should be doing a couple more videos like this. I do have a mechanical hard drive I'm going to do a video on. It's a Toshiba 1TB, and I'm going to do another video that uh, compares the speeds of the traditional mechanical hard drive and the SATA 3 SSD versus the M.2 PCIe NVMe version of the SSD and see what kind of speed comparison we get out of the three. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.